Hello dear friends, it's time to learn once again with Shiksha Mantra. Yes, today we have chosen a topic that's uh, from academic. And the topic is, as you know, we will continuing with this. This is clauses. So, we have so far learned the basics of clauses, noun clauses, and adjective and relative clauses. So, if you want to check them out once again, this, the link is given above. You may check it from there in the i button and follow them once again. So, we have completed our two different types of subordinate clauses and now to step towards the third one. So let's check it out what's there in store for us. So here we are. Let's check it out what uh, the next topic we will be talking about. And it's adverb clauses. Yes, dear friends, adverb clauses are really very much important part of the clauses. And actually, if you want to learn clauses properly without learning the proper uses of the adverbial clauses, it's very difficult for you to have a great grip on them. So let's start and see what's they waiting for us in the adverbial clauses. So we are going to know about adverb clauses. An adverb clause is a group of words which contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of an adverb. Strike the iron when it is hot. So we are saying that when it is hot, the subordinate clause does the function of an adverb. It contains a subject and a predicate uh, that is uh, this is the subject and that's the predicate. Subject and predicates of its own and it works as an adverb. So how it's working as an adverb, we are going to check it out later. You are taller than I thought. So here also we consider this part as an adverb clause. He ran so quickly that he soon overtook me would consider this part as an adverb clause. So you must remember what is an adverb and where an adverb can be used in a sentence. You have learned it in adverbs. So, from there, you'd have to relate it out as adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of reason, like this. So, we'd learn all about them in our next slides. So, let's check it out. So, now it's types of adverb clauses. Yes, dear friends, this is very much important because adverb clauses are of many types. And here in the slide, we'd learn them time, place, Purpose, cause, condition, result, comparison, supposition, or concession. So, learn all these uh, four types of adverb clauses in our next slide. So, the first one is adverbial clauses of time, and let's see adverb clauses of time are introduced by the subordinating conjunctions whenever, while, after, before since as etc so you must remember them to get to the adverbial clauses of times and there's many examples given with them when you have finished your work you may go home so this subordinate clause is to mean the time so this is adverb clauses of time and as you know in an adverb we actually mean time don't talk while she is singing so it's uh mentioning the time when not to talk so all these are adverb clauses you may uh, pause the video and check all the examples well to learn a lot about adverb clauses but we would shift to our next slide and that is adverb clauses of place so it speaks of place and the subordinating conjunctions they usually introduce with where and where is i put it where i can find it again so where i can find it again this is the adverb clause of place it relates to place and there are so many other examples given for you 
But you must remember that in older English, whence and whither were also used. So, where, where is, but in older English, whence and whither is also used. Though we don't use uh, whither or whence uh, nowadays, but sometimes in some older books, you may find them and there you'd have to recognize them as adverb clauses of place. So, let's check out. In our next slide, what's waiting for us? It's a purpose. Yes, it's pretty serious and you must understand it well and remember it very, very keenly. Adverb clauses of purpose are introduced by the subordinating conjunctions so that in order that and lest. These are actually very, very important as I'm saying. Most of the time, you'd face them in your exam, in either transformation of sentences or in joining. And there you find problem mostly with lest. That's why we have added an extra not on it. In order that and less are used in a formal style. So show that that is informal, but lest and in order that they are used in formal style. We will discuss about them in detail. So the first of them, I shall give you a map so that you can find the way. So I have a purpose to giving you the map and the purpose that is introduced with show that is you can find the way. The UNO was formed with a purpose. What's the purpose? In order that countries might discuss world problems better if you uh, follow the topic this is a formal topic we are talking of you and o but here i am talking about i and you so this is less formal and in formal situations we have used it in order that he was extra polite to his superiors lest something adverse should be written into his records he was extra polite to his superiors, lest, so there is a negative sense in it. The conjunction that occurred in ultra English as well. Come hither, that I may bless this. And here, that also means adverb clauses of purpose. So let's go to our next slide. It's adverb clauses of cause or reason. You know cause and reason. It's uh, not uh, much important to discuss about them, but they are introduced by because, as, since, that. So, let's uh, shift to the examples. Because I like you, I shall help you. Since you are so clever, I will be able to explain this. I'm glad that you liked it. So, everywhere you'd find a reason or cause. But uh, dear friends here, I'd want to share one particular feelings that uh, i like to share with you. That is uh, reason and cause. We call them in both names, but there's another thing that is introduced here as well. And that is a result. If there's cause or reason, there must be result. How? Because I like you, I shall help you. So, because I like you, this is the reason. But I shall help you, this is the result. And now, you may ask me, if in a single sentence, we find both the cause and the result, so how could we find out whether this is adverbial clauses of cause or reason or adverbial clauses of result? It's very simple. You have to check the subordinate clause. We are learning noun clause, adjective clause, adverbial clause, all about subordinate clauses. They are the types of subordinate clauses. So if the subordinate clause shows reason, it's adverb clauses of reason, and the same sentence can be used in adverb clauses of result as well. If you say, I like you, show I shall help you, it would be adverbial clauses of result. And here, we are going to set to a very important part of adverb clauses that is their adverbial clauses of condition or conditional clauses as we also call them so here for condition clause you'd find the subordinate in conjunctions if 
whether unless and how if i like it i shall buy it you must go whether you hear from him or not but when you mean negative condition you wish use unless unless you walk harder you will fail if it rains i shall stay at home if you have trees prepare to set them now so when we want to place an affirmative condition we use if and for negative conditions we use unless and we may also use whether for formation of adverb clauses of condition and now we must remember that adverb clauses of condition this is not very simple sometimes the subordinating conjunction is omitted in adverb clauses of condition so how had i not seen this with my own eyes i would not have believed it just yet friends you know them by subjunctive mood and they are also adverb clauses of condition he would be happier we he honest we are he an angel to tell me such a thing of you i wouldn't believe it we are he you may find you probably have learned it uh, earlier but uh, if you haven't uh, let me know it in the comment box below and i would make uh, another presentation regarding these sentences and the detail of condition clauses if you demand it please write me down and i'll do it for you so here in our learning of adverbial clauses of condition we have found that they are sometimes introduced by a relative pronoun or adjective or adverb without any antecedent how whatever happens keep calm whatever happens keep calm do not annoy him whatever you do so it's uh, introduced with a relative pronoun or relative adverb or sometimes adjectives as well but without antecedent whatever happens we haven't find any antecedent here it's directly started whichever road we take we shall be too late no antecedent is placed and that's also adverbial clauses of condition and here we have found that result or consequence we have already discussed about it in recent session and we had double check the fought so bravely that the enemy were driven off the enemy were driven off as they fought so bravely because they fought so bravely and you would find the the adverbial clauses of reason can also be formed from adverbial clauses of result so cold was it that many died but don't consider it as so that so great a fire raised that london was burnt down so you don't consider so and that as so that that we have learned there rather it is so great a fire raised that london was burnt down so this is at for clauses of result or consequence now would set to our next slide and this slide contains the subordinating conjunctions that is often dropped in formal english so there is some subordinating conjunctions that's often dropped how he was so weak he could not speak i'm so deaf i cannot hear thunder we are dropping that here so let's check it out for the next slide and it says adverb clauses of comparison and uh, i think you are quite acquainted with this this is adverb clauses of comparison of degree adverb clauses of comparison of manner and we'd learn the details about them adverb clauses of comparison of degree are introduced by the subordinating conjunction than or by the relative adverb as he is older than he looks no one can run faster than rama you must work harder than i do he is not as stupid as he is lazy 
so these are adverb clauses of comparison and you, as you can see the comparisons are quite vivid here the verb of the adverb clause of comparison of degree is often understood and not expressed probably you have uh, understood this he is older than he looks here you would find looks the verb but no one can run faster than rama than rama does and the verb is dropped so that's how we may form adverb clauses of comparison of degree nobody knows it better than i that means nobody knows it better than i do we have dropped do you like curry better than i like it i'll it will happen as sure as death so uh, we have dropped uh, the verbs there you have learned it now adverb clauses of comparison of manner are introduced by the relative adverb as you may do as you please as you please so it's a comparison of manner it all ended as i expected as i expected manner. as you have made your bed so you must lie on it as he has lived so will he die as the twig is bent the branch will grow so everywhere you'd find a comparison of manner and now it's time for us to learn the adverb clauses of supposition or concession how do they work adverb clauses of supposition or concession are introduced by the subordinating conjunctions though although and even if so uh, first we'll check some examples though i'm poor i'm honest though i'm poor so it's a concession normally we, we think that the poor's are not honest but here the poor is honest that's why it's a concession or supposition he said sell though the storm threatened so uh, amidst the threat of a storm you won't set sell but here it has been done so there's a supposition or concession although troops had marched all day they fought bravely all night so marched all day and fought all night so there's a concession or supposition even if it rains i shall come so rain won't stop you that's the concession so dear friends we have completed learning of adverb clauses if you are new to this channel don't forget to like it and share the video and being a new you must subscribe this channel with the bell icon pressed so that you get fresh notifications regarding each and every video that is pro, uh, produced here in shiksha mantra so wait for our next publish and would be there very soon with a fresh video until then bye bye